Happy Saturday, everyone. It's that time of the week again, folks. We have new weekly free rewards, items, and more from Tuesday's update. And this video today is your full update buyer's guide, where we basically review each discounted item and discuss why or why not something may be worth buying. In yesterday's video, we actually discussed a new gold bar gift from Rockstar, which was totally separate to Tuesday's update, interestingly enough. So it's probably worth it to check out your benefits tab in game to see if you have a free gold bar voucher and see if something like that is lurking in there this week definitely has the money bonuses outshadowing the discount so let's just breeze through everything today a real easy watch if you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful please let me know by dropping a like on today's video and if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything red dead redemption 2 and red dead online consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on So as always, starting off with the free items and rewards just for logging in and playing, we first have a 1000 collect the roll XP award for those who are not max rank collector yet. It's perfect for people who are just getting started, especially with those sales going on this week. And everyone, no matter what level collector you are, will receive three tarot cards as well this week which may help you get a full set of tarot cards just a little bit faster. And for those players who go the extra mile this week and rank up five times, or anyone above level 15, so a really low bar of entry here in Red Dead Online, they will get two free treasure maps for absolutely free. So you're looking at two gold bars and hopefully a ballpark around 200 or so extra dollars from those two treasure maps. My money guide for this week, we also touched on the featured series bonus, and if you want to get involved for one last free item for this week, you can try to win one of those modes, and you will be rewarded with a voucher for a free hat of your choice. The only thing here, though, is that hat is on hats up to rank 15, so your options are quite limited here. There's really nothing that special when it comes to that. But when it comes to the sales on items sold by various vendors throughout the open world, this week has a big focus on cosmetic items, which, again, is something I never include in my reviews because, well, they don't do anything for your character, right? There's no tips for me to actually give you. It's just up to your personal preference and if you like some collector outfits which are discounted or gun belts or the horse lantern. However, we do have a discount for five gold bars off the collector roll. Most people will have this roll by now, but there's always new players, especially right now when one, this game is on Xbox Game Pass. And we also have a new summer update coming to the game, which Rockstar said is coming early summer. So that's great news. The collector roll is hands down the most lucrative roll for money in Red Dead Online. There's really no debate there, especially when this roll is only 10 gold bars this week, it's an easy purchase. You're essentially going to be trading those 10 gold bars spent on the roll and trading that into tens of thousands of dollars in game, or if you're in it for the long haul here like a lot of us, maybe even hundreds of thousands throughout the entire time you play this game over the years. 10 out of 10, I would buy this roll if you haven't already. Now as for our discount for the 40% off the Pennington Field Shovel, the Metal Detector, the Refined Binoculars, and the Horse Lantern, all of this is collector roll equipment, so it's just 40% off like blanket collector items. Items. The refined binoculars are not something I would recommend you purchase this week if you're low on cash as it doesn't really add a whole lot of value to your gameplay. Of course you can see the collection clues and even bounty clues from a lot further away, but with the collector's map that I will link down in the description below that everyone knows about, you'll have no trouble finding items in terms of that. And then of course when it comes to those bounties with clues that you'll need to search, a neat little trick you can actually do is pull out a scoped weapon like the rolling block or the Carcano rifle, spin around in a circle, and then the actual bounty's location will eventually pop up. This way you can just avoid searching individual clues entirely and wasting your time. And when it comes to the shovel and the metal detector, however, these are the two absolutely necessary purchases for you to find and dig up collection items like the lost jewelry, the new fossil collections which were added with the naturalist, the ultra rare coins, and the arrowheads, and even some family heirlooms as well. Not buying these two items if you're a collector would mean basically that you're sacrificing almost a majority of collection sets that you can actually obtain. So definitely buy the field shovel and buy by the metal detector. You can also get 30% off the Aguila Machete found at Madame Nazar, but this really is just a reskin of any other long melee weapon that you can find and buy in this game. You can't throw it, and there's no stats for this weapon in the sense that like there's damage values that we can talk about. You just hack and slash enemies with it, and that's about it. I prefer the Halloween Zavala Machete anyway. I haven't purchased the Aguila Machete on my PC account. I've only done it on my PS account, but that's about it. Lastly, we have the 30% discount on the Criollo Horses from the Collector Roll. This 
breed hails from South America, where in 1540, a shipment of purebred Spanish Andalusian stallions were set free as the Spaniards abandoned Buenos Aires, and the feral horse population that resulted was able to live in extreme heat and cold with little water or grass. And they're an intelligent breed, averaging 14 to 15 hands high in this game, and have high stamina, making them perfect for the type of traveler who is required to go long distances over rough terrain, especially for those collectors out there. And they have sound, hard feet, a very strong body, sloping shoulders, and a muscular neck. And this Criollo horse features a stat, at least the best ones do, of 5 out of 10 for health, 6 out of 10 for stamina, 7 out of 10 for speed, and 5 out of 10 for acceleration. This is an absolutely beautiful breed of horse in this game, and I think you'll be delighted to either have the Bay Frame Overo or even the Marble Sabino Criollo in your stable. So just a quick buyer's guide for this week since again we only had a few items, but I wanted to make sure that absolutely no one is wasting their money and I wanted to publish this video for you. I always read those horror stories in my comments on Tuesday morning from someone letting me know that they bought an item in the game on Monday night, of course a few hours before they actually go on sale. So I would hate to have anyone have buyer's remorse from purchasing a useless item or ineffective item that's on discount as well. That would be bad news. But with all that said, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best rather than online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and I will see you in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.